Hey Queens and welcome to my channel or welcome if this is your first time. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how I self care as a single mother of seven and how you can too whether you're a single mother, have no kids or whatever. Okay, so get your crown, put it on and let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm just going to say five ways that I self care as a single mother of seven. I'm just going to do it off the top of my head. Um, and so one of the first ways that I do, um, is that I prioritize taking care of myself. Um, I know the kids are going to get up in the morning, you know, got to get ready for school and all that stuff. So I will try to sneak away early in the morning and take care of myself. And for me, that's, you know, um, you know, washing my face, you know, brushing my teeth, doing my routine in the morning, um, uh, putting on my makeup. Cause I feel you know, like I'm put together. Like I did something. I feel, you know, nice and pretty when I do my makeup. So I prioritize my a self care routine, which is taking care of my, you know, my makeup and my face and stuff like that. Putting on some nice clothes, not too nice. Cause the kids just gonna get me all dirty. Um, but yeah, so a morning routine and I usually shower at nighttime and do things like that when it's quiet and I can rest and I'll have to worry about what the kids are doing. So, um, number two, um, I would say a nighttime routine. Um, so like whether you like to take a shower or you like to read or whatever you like to do at night, just make sure you prioritize it. Um, so that you have time for yourself because it's important for you to have time for yourself because what you put into you, you're going to be able to pour it out to your children, to your family. And if you're not pouring it into yourself, you're going to be on empty. You're going to be like running low, not feeling good. You're going to be kind of irritable because you know, you're not taking care of yourself and you feel like you're neglecting your needs for everyone else's needs. And that's going to catch up with you and you're not going to feel good about that. So number one is have a morning routine, taking care of yourself Two, nighttime routine. So you can wind down from the stresses of the day. Um, and number three is I put my kids to bed a little bit earlier than, um, oh, it just depends. I put my kids to bed at the appropriate time, but it's early enough for me where I'm not exhausted and wiped out. And this is different from a night time routine because nighttime routine, I'm talking about myself. Putting the kids to bed early is not part of my nighttime routine. It's part of just putting them to bed early so I can have the time to do my nighttime routine. So putting them, just finding the balance of, you know, what time, you know, they have enough time to play. You guys can spend time together, but then you're not so exhausted. We don't have any time to do anything for yourself. So it's really going to depend on your schedule, your life, what works for you. But um, and of course, on the weekends, you know, we stay up a little bit later. We watch movies and stuff like that. But during the week when I know I'm going to have to get up early, I know I'm going to have to be doing all the things. I make sure that I'm in. I put them to bed so I can have time to myself to either watch something, read something, take a bath just have quiet time because I'm naturally more of an introvert and so I need that time to refuel myself okay so that's number three number four would be let's see what's a good one I can think of um I multi multitasking so that I'm not always having to do stuff all the time so when I'm in like one area of the house and this is part of my self-care because it's how I care for myself by not making sure I'm bombarded with so much stuff. And so part of that is just making sure if I'm like in one area of the house, I know maybe, you know, I'm in the kitchen, you know, if the the um, counters are dirty, I can off the counters and I have to take maybe something out for dinner. So I'm doing everything I need to do in that area that I can think about that time. I'm doing it then. So I'm not having to do a bunch of little things all day that are going to wipe me out. And that's a part of me taking care of myself because I'm making more time for the things that I want to do by doing the things I need to do. So whatever area that you're in or as you're going that you're making sure you're doing things um, all in that area so you don't have to keep backtracking. So that was number four. And number five, um, just scheduling me time. Um, and still, this is still different from nighttime and morning routines. That's something that you need. Me time is um, like, you need it too, but it's not like every day. Um, you can, um, but like maybe hiring a babysitter to go to the movies. And if you do that, having a time for you to do that, make a movie night at your house, but it's just you. I know you want the kids to come in. I know you, they, you know, they're going to be like, Oh mama, you got popcorn. You got this. I'm like, no, this is just mama right here. This is not you. This is not your sister, your brother. This is just me because you know, as much as you love to be a good mom and you want to do stuff with them all the time, you need that time for yourself. 
hear me out, hear, hear me out, because you will be wiped out and you won't have time to do the things that you want to do with them because you'll be burnt out, you'll be tired, you'll be falling asleep. And so you need to have that time just for you. Okay. So, and it could look like you go into the nail salon while they're at school. It could be, um, you just going, I don't know, going for a walk, making time for yourself that doesn't involve the kids. So if you have to wait till they're asleep and just literally take a walk around your house a couple times, act like you're going somewhere. <laughs> Do that. Or if they're asleep, you know, go on the back porch, get some candles. If you drink wine, get some wine, some tea. I love tea, chamomile tea. That's like my favorite. Um, so just pray or whatever it is that you like, making that a part of your life, that you can still have a life when you have kids. You can still enjoy yourself when you have kids. You can still be an independent woman and you know fully you you don't have to um disconnect yourself from your womanhood and who you are just because you're a mother just because you have children so that's five ways to self-care that i self-care as a mother of seven um so number one was morning routine number two was nighttime routine number three was putting the kids to bed early number four was um what was it Oh, kind of like multitasking. And number five was scheduling me time. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And I always encourage my uh, queens in this community to love themselves, to see their worth and value. Um, and just to just love yourself the way you want to be loved. And I always sing a song. Love yourself again. Love yourself again. That's all self-care is. Love yourself again. Again. Won't you love yourself again? Love yourself again. Love yourself again. 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 Till next time, Queens. I'll talk to you later.